and welcome back to our special celebrating Juneteenth. While we talk about the history of June 19th, there's another holiday that you may not be as familiar with. It's called Pinkster, and it's actually one of the oldest holidays that celebrates African American history. Here's Eyewitness News reporter Crystal Cranmore. At the Dykeman Farmhouse in Inwood, a tradition comes alive. This is our third year of holding a Pinkster celebration. One of the oldest African-American holidays. A lot of people know Juneteenth as the um, oldest black holiday, but Pinkster has really been around since the 1600s. Dutch settlers brought the holiday primarily to the Hudson Valley, New York City, and northern New Jersey to celebrate the Pentecost seven weeks after Easter. But according to historians, more than a century later, the holiday would be considered an African-American tradition. The actual Dutch trusted their Africans to leave their farms for a week. So even that autonomy that the Africans had allowed them to feel more comfortable in practicing all of the traditional languages, traditional dances. The Oka Dance Company and the Dykeman Farmhouse Museum have made it a mission to revive the legacy of Pinkster through historical reenactments. Combination of West African traditional movement. Um, we used influences again from native traditional um, movement and drum circles. And with help from the New York State Commission on African American History, the hope is to spread awareness of the contributions of black people, both free and enslaved. Part of the initiative is to uncover and to share with the rest of New York and frankly with the rest of the nation in the world and the incredible history of perseverance that African New Yorkers have brought here. Crystal Cranmore, Channel 7 Eyewitness News.